Hey Internet, Joseph Payne aka the Nintendo Reviewer here. I thought I'd try something a little different today. I'm presenting a Let's Play special. Uh, so what I'm going to be start, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start doing uh, specials of certain games, or like levels of certain games for Let's Play. So in this case, for my summer special, I'm going to be playing Banjo-Kazooie, as you can see here. I got Banjo Kazooie, and I'm going to be playing, as you can guess, since it's the summer theme, I'm going to be playing Treasures Trove Cove. So, yeah, this will be my first ever actual Let's Play that I'm trying out here, because as you guys have seen, I sometimes do my multiplayer commentaries with my friends, which I actually recorded some of those very recently, so you'll get to see some of those coming up after this video is up, too. But yeah, I'm going to give it a shot at at Let's Plays, and I thought since it's just me, you can actually see me, and most of you know what I look like anyway. There it is. This giant treasure chest. Ahoy there! And Bottles gets really into his impressions at different levels. There's a little ginger. Oh, fuck. You stay away. Snacker. Shit, turn faster. Oh, damn it. I'm good at this game, I swear. Let me kill this crab here. You can kill these crabs the normal way. I mean, just in case for those of you who haven't played this game, and if you haven't, you should. But yeah, you can kill those crabs the normal way by rolling at them with ban yeah, Banjo's roll attack. Like, they take... You need to hit them twice with that, whereas if you do the... That slam attack that I just did, you can kill it much faster, so I would do that. Um, yeah, I think I'll go over to the Salty Hippo, as it's called. Yeah, really for Banjo-Kazooie, search every nook and, nook and cranny for collectibles. So I have to wonder if ukulele, or how much of that is going to be implemented in ukulele as well. i definitely excited for that game. Or even the red feathers are talking to you. And there's Ginger up here. Like I said, every nook and cranny. I'll learn the new move while I'm here. Chicken legs. It's definitely a kid's game. Everybody is throwing cheap insults at each other. Definitely a kid's game. Stand on flying this. Oh, you're so generous, Bottles. Almost makes up for you calling Kazooie chicken legs to her face. I guess it's better than behind her back. Let's see, why is this hippo crying? Maybe because he had too much soda, and now he can only talk in belches. Lumper guts. Ah, oh, damn. Everybody's throwing cheap insults at each other in this game. I guess that's how you know it was made by Rare. Also up here, there it is, Momo Token. And I just don't make games like this anymore where you really have to search very carefully. I mean, there are still some games like this, but they're not quite in the same vein. Oh, hey, look. There's a piece of gold. Once again, talking to me. It's another thing with this game and why exploration is so key here is that you really never know where it is. I mean, you might think that it's at some far off corner of the level away from the person who sent you on the quest, but it could actually be right under their nose, or in this case, right under the ship. Oh. I'll pull up, make sure I don't run out of air. I think one reason why I 
avoided the idea of doing Let's Plays up until now is that I'm not the kind of person to just ramble about something. I'll see how well this goes. Maybe you guys will let me know how well I do with this. Hey. Set it down, Banjo. Hey, you. There you go. Get your goddamn gold. Oh, he gets his gold and he's going to go immediately spend it. It's like most of us, honestly. We get our paychecks and then we go and blow it on something. Oh, these guys. Oh, shit. No. No, no. Okay. Yeah, if they hit you, you lose some of your items. Nothing too major, like, mu like musical notes or anything like that. Just the eggs and feathers. Still annoying, though. I think I'm gonna go... wait, did I go to this tree yet? I'm gonna go up here. Musical notes! <clears throat> Honestly, I gotta give big props to Grant Kirko for his work on this game. Because it's so much of it, so much of the charm that comes from this game is the sound design. Grant Kirko pretty knew what he was doing here. So I have very high hopes for ukulele on that front. Here's the big boss crab. Or crustacean. Okay, this guy's actually pretty easy. You just have to figure out his pattern. Snip, 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 and then I can go attack again. And it kind of changes up a bit here, the third time. Yeah, see there? So they'll attack faster, and then you go in. Yeah, at first he caught me with that when I first played this many years ago. But yeah, once you figure out that pattern, he's not that hard. But apparently he shrunk into oblivion, because he, he cowered back into a shell and there's no body here. Game logic! <clears throat> and there's more crabs in here. Because, once again, game logic. You know, internet, while I'm here, since this is summer and this is my summer Let's Play special, uh, what are some of your favorite things about summer? Kind of curious to know. I definitely know some of my favorite things about summer. Just, um, even though it gets really hot sometimes. I do like going to the beach. Oh, that's right, I have to learn that first. I like going to the beach, like the barbecues. Also, my birthday is in the summer. There you are. Shock jump spring. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. That's actually pretty true in this game. Kazooie, um, when you really think about it, Kazooie does do most of the work in this game. So I think in uh, Banjo Tooie, Banjo feels a lot more useful than he does here. Yeah, most of the special moves are essentially done by Kazooie. And yeah, there's a lot that Kazooie can't do if it's just her. As as you will notice in Banjo Tooie. Uh, I can still make it. Yep. Okay. Mm, I'm gonna go here first. You can also kind of think of this as a walkthrough, but. One of the great things, one of the things that I love about Banjo-Kazooie is that it's so open that you don't have to get the Jiggies in any particular order. You don't have to get anything in any particular order. And there's maybe some times where that's the case, for a specific Jiggy you have to do something in order, but usually it's very open. Okay. There's something else up there, but I'm just going to wait until I go to that challenge. 
And yes, you can see off in the distance there is a... Uh, I can't remember the name of the of the island off the top of my head somehow, but that island you can access after completing a certain bonus challenge in Banjo's house. So it was, it was part of how Rareware were originally going to implement the stop and swap feature, that you would go into that island and you would unlock some other secret places in the Banjo-Kazooie levels. You'd find the mystery eggs and then use those eggs to unlock things in Banjo-Tooie, but Stop and Swap didn't quite pan out to how Rare originally planned it, so it ended up being a bit different. But still, it is cool to complete the bonus challenges and then in order to unlock those places and find the green eggs. Eesh. Anytime the treasure chest is alive and has teeth, maybe that's a sign to avoid it. It's just me, though. Hmm. That's right, there's my boat token in there. Oh, no, 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 blow up in my face. Yeah, you might, you might catch me singing along to some of the tunes. Oh, shit. Grant Kirkhope's music is just awesome here, so yeah, I might kind of jam along to some of the music. Oh, I also wanted to talk a little bit about Ukulele and um, its, its indie development company, Playtonic Games. Because I think some people have been concerned that, well, what if they eventually get bought out by some bear company the way Rareware got bought by Microsoft. And from what I've heard from what the guys at Playtonic Games have been talking about, it looks like they like being independent. They, they did like working with Nintendo, but they also like being independent. And from what they said, it seems like they want to stay independent. So... Odds are, after- yep, there's a Jiggy in here, too. Underneath... I believe his name is Shrapnel, this guy. But anyways, um... Yeah, the guys at Playtonic were saying that they want to stay an independent company, because... And a fairly small company, too, because they feel like they can do better that way, and they have more freedom as a smaller company that doesn't have to report to any higher-ups. So that's pretty encouraging, and it also means that... Come on. Oh, damn. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, I don't know how I managed that. But yeah, it also means with Platonic staying independent that, uh, like they were talking about, they can have more... Um, they, can ha they can have more control over their intellectual properties. And it also means that there shouldn't be all these crazy politics in terms of what systems they make their games for. Because yes, I do miss Banjo being on Nintendo platforms, but with the talented guys at what is now called Playtonic Games, I feel like more more gamers of this generation should experience the the creative talent that those guys can bring to gaming. And they'll first get to experience it with ukulele, since ukulele is going to pretty much everywhere. Wii U, Xbox One, PS4. I think there's some. I think there's a honeycomb piece I can collect here. I did not get killed by this guy. But yeah, it's coming to all the 8th gen consoles. Yep, I was right. Honeycomb piece. Coming to all the 8th gen consoles and coming to PC and Mac, and I believe Linux as well. Good shark. I find it, it kind of interesting that in this game, when you kill a minion, where you, when you kill a bad guy, they stay dead. And then in Banjo 2e, they decide to have all the bad guys regenerate. Maybe to keep things interesting. Ah, there's Leaky.
There is not a problem that can't be solved with eggs. Or maybe there is. Actually, there is. In this game. First, before you just drop down and fly across and get the musical notes here. Because I don't think you can get up to this roof from from doing the ZA move. You could if you had the if you could grip on the ledges like in Manjo Tui, but you can't do that here. He is literally talking in clicks. Okay, this this is fairly easy, you just have to spell out Banjo-Kazooie. Just a matter of doing it fast. B-A. Not sure I can do this and talk at the same time. Like I said, I'm kind of new to this whole Let's Play thing. But... I'm kind of new to this whole Let's Play thing, aside from the multiplayer commentaries. You actually have to remember how to spell in this game. Who says games can't be educational? Okay, this guy, I'm gonna do the same slamming move on him. But he's a bit stronger than most crabs, so I have to do it twice. No big deal, though. Get that jiggy. You know, if Grunty were, was a lot smarter and more diabolical, she would have rigged it so that as soon as I got that jiggy in, in that cell, that the gate would just close on me and then I'd be stuck in there the rest of it. And then she wins. I don't know, villains never think those things through. Then there comes a time where I have to remember where I'm at and what to do next. Oh, I think I know what to do next, but I haven't done yet. I'm actually going to fly. So I'm first. Oh, yes. Shows you did the move right. Alright. I'm gonna come here first. Actually, I want to wait until because he says he says something. This treasure chest. They speak Grantilda's booty. Uh, oh. Touch it if you dare. Oh. In a certain context, I don't think I want to touch Grantilda's booty. Harder still, the game will be. You say that, but, well, she's kind of right. Coffee and mints. Do I really smell like coffee and mints to you? No, oh, watch, that's gonna be a new fragrance. Coffee and mints! Advertised by Snacker the Shark. Yeah, at some point you're going to want to fly up here and go to the very top of Treasure Trove Cove. Where the music kind of fades out. You just hear seagulls. See, even the, the way they don't use music adds to the game here. Because in this case, you're, you're not only seeing how high up you are, but you're hearing it too because, oh, the music is gone and you realize just how high up you are. That if you fall from here, you're dead. And I think years ago I actually tested that theory that I jumped from here all the way down to the bottom and I did die. So, don't do that. Unless you're a crazy person. Also seems they... Also seems there is a consistent theme of spirals in this game. There's a spiral mountain and uh... There's a spiral here, too. There's also, I might go into the secret island later on in this playthrough. i show you that there's a spiral here. A spiral in there, too, and... Yep, there's a Gruntilda switch. 
shoot the jiggy out of the cannon. And result, there's those Gruntilda switches in every level. To unlock a jiggy within Gruntilda's lair, within the hub world itself. Alrighty. Now I believe this is jiggy number nine. Yes. Alright, that just leaves one more for this level. Oop, don't, don't fall and die. And that one is the one where you are almost literally going treasure hunting. Because what would treasure trove go be without treasure hunting? You'll see what I mean. For those of you who haven't played this, you'll see what I mean. And some of you already know what's coming. From here, you can just drop down because there's plenty of water. Take your fall. Just get the hell away from the shark. Do not chomp me. You can actually kill him too. Oh, he already faded away. But yeah, if you if you lure Snacker out enough, like close enough to the shore, you can actually position yourself so that you can shoot eggs at him or poop eggs onto him. And he takes a lot of damage, but you can you can kill him. Oh, crap. I believe in there are feathers. Oh, shit. I'm good at this, I swear. Damn it. Now I'm gonna get called down on the internet. Because that always happens. Somebody gets called out on the internet for something. Alright, so you're gonna wanna go up to another spiral. marks a spot, but you slam it, and it just X becomes an arrow. So just simply follow the arrow. They're not very misleading, so... And here's another one. Oh, missed. This is such great summer music. There's actually a website where you can download video, ga video game music, and I found that website and downloaded this track. I, I downloaded almost all the tracks from Banjo-Kazooie. Because they make great background. So I have the Treasure Trove Cove track in a playlist called Summer, along with a whole bunch of music from Super Mario Sunshine. And yay, Bottles is happy, I found all 100 Jiggies. Well, not Jiggies, uh, musical notes. <laughs> We're not there yet. Ha, you'll never find me. <laughs> That's what you think. Turn a corner and, oh, look, what is that? A gigantic X. G. And there's a treasure. Yikes, please open me gently. Ah, no. I'm going to murder you and think nothing of it. Because this is a children's game. I don't know if Banjo even takes a bow. Okay, there's... There's one thing I'm missing here. I always forget where to find it, but it's the... It's the other empty honeycomb piece. So usually what I like to do is I like to take to the skies and then... find it that way, just so I don't have to spend too much time in the water. Because... Snacker's an asshole. Oh yeah, there's a mobile token there. We'll get that later. If I remember correctly, I believe it was nearby this spiral here. I'm just hoping I don't take too long in this video and bore you guys from looking for the other empty honeycomb piece. I would be doing the uh, the buzzard bomb here just to go faster, but oh hey, there it is. So I was right, it was nearby the spiral. Alright, just get that. 
And then the other two are in the following level, Clanker's Cavern. But again, you don't have to collect them in any particular order. It's just a nice way to keep track. Alright, now let me quickly grab that Mobo token. There we go. Alright. Just get to the shore without- Oh, you son of a bitch! You spawned right in front of me. <clears throat> oh, no, no, no. Alright. Die. Oh well. But as you can see, he actually did take the hits, so... Yeah, Snacker can be killed. I believe that's everything. Just go to the handy dandy pause menu. Yep. Everything in 24 minutes. Nice. Yeah, most levels in this game take anywhere from about 25 to maybe 40 minutes. It all depends on the level. So that's Treasure Trove Co., but I'm not done with this video yet. I'm going to get the Bat Tiki. Right. That's where the cannon was. Kill this gremlin. Oh! I'm really good at this, guys. And there is the Jiggy. Alright, so I think that'll just about do it for this summer of Let's Play special. Um, hope you guys were at least somewhat entertained by this. And again, just let me know what. What are your favorite things about summer, and what do you think of this game, if you're a fan of this game, because this is an awesome game. Oh, yeah, Gruntilda's gonna try to taunt me some more. I'll just ignore her. Yeah, anyways, that will do it for this video, and I'll see you guys next time. I've got one of my multiplayer commentaries to upload this month, and then next month will be Mario Kart month. So, I've got four videos planned. Two of them are already recorded uh, for the Mario Kart month, so I'll see you guys then. Bye!